about the flywheel and are these clutches bolt on for specific applications so I wanted to go over an outline and explain to you how these clutches work what is a seven and a quarter inch clutch where is the seven and a quarter inches measured what sort of friction face do you have where does the friction face mate onto the flywheel uh, what sort of area on the actual sintered copper plate which is your friction face on the plate does that have to mate onto the flywheel and what do you need in terms of a flywheel requirement to get this clutch to work? Now, a lot of the time a standard vehicle's clutch is about a 220mm to 240mm diameter. That is the outside diameter of the clutch plate, which is the friction plate. Now, in this specific case, this is a 7 and a quarter inch clutch, which is the outside diameter of the clutch plate from end to end, 7 and a quarter inch. Now, I've got, this is a triple plate clutch over here. This is a flower wheel that we're still busy making up. It's almost done, but I wanted to show you how this clutch actually interfaces or mates onto this flower wheel. So you have your clutch, you've got your boss, your spline, your center, whatever you want to call it. This is the friction material here, which is your copper sintered friction material, which measure, measures 25 mils, one inch wide on either side. So in total you've got 50 millimeters of friction face. Now the, di the diameter of the actual clutch is 184 mils. If you look at the spacing in there, I'm just going to use that to indicate the spacing that I'm looking at. And then draw your attention to the minimum side of the friction plate. There's enough flywheel over there to make sure that your entire friction face mates onto the actual flower wheel itself. So if we take 184 millimeters wide clutch plate and we take off the friction face area, the inside diameter that we make our flower wheels to is 125 millimeters. So that'll be a guide for you as to what, what diameter you need your actual flower wheel to be on the minimum, on the inside face to make sure that the entire friction face of the sintered copper clutch mates onto your flower wheel. So that's essentially how it goes. I'll show you how it assembles. Okay, so your first friction plate will go down onto the flower wheel. Then you have a friction face which comes from ACE. Then you have, this is, in this case it's a triple plate. You will have your second plate, your second friction face, which we like to keep off center so you've got a double hook there double hook there and then what we'll do is we'll just offset them so a double over there a double over there so you, at, at every point you've got two hooking points and then the third plate intermediate ring and obviously your pressure plate now that'll obviously bolt down through these little locators now what we do is we've obviously CNC machined this flower wheel, this happens on a CNC. Um, we've actually machined these slots at a specific depth so that you get a specific uh, uh, foot pressure or clutch pressure on the clutch pedal. And then obviously this entire uh, assembly fits down onto there and you get the supplied uh, bolts which basically will then bolt through those sections. Okay, these are, these are not uh, through hole uh, tapped, but uh, this clutch is quite a thick clutch so we've drilled it quite deep and we've obviously done a uh, uh, we've cut thread into the actual flower wheel, so these bolts will actually go through the entire the entire assembly through that locator, and obviously then screw down into the uh, the flower wheel, holding the actual clutch down. And you'll see that as you tighten these bolts, you'll see the fingers on the clutch will obviously depress and obviously uh, uh, um, uh, tension up, ready for your installation. You can run concentric slave and you can convert this to push or use it as, as a pull type clutch. So that's basically the, the outline and what I wanted to cover about the diameter of the clutch and how it mates to your actual flower. 
Hope it's been uh, informative. If there's any questions, post them below. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.